Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. We've had an absolutely amazing time recently. Clear skies pretty much back to back, which is a lovely thing. I've been working from my observatory. I've had a Mead 8 inch SCT mounted up and I've been having a lot of fun zooming in and capturing some galaxies. I've done some live streams and thanks to everyone that's joined in on them. It's been great chatting with you and I really do appreciate the support. But tonight I'm venturing out I'm going to meet up with Simon of Simon's Astro and we're going to make our way over to Dunwich, an area we know quite well and we've been too many times before. Over my right shoulder you'll see I've got a mount, I'm taking my Chem 26 with me because I've got a larger scope to try out tonight, a uh, bit too large for the Nomad Star Tracker, it's the uh, SV Boney 503. So let me just show you that, that's in this box here. So that'll be really good to give that a test tonight and I'll tell you more about it when we get it up. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of kit in here, pretty much everything but the kitchen sink. But I've also tried out a little uh, mod I've done on the van. I've added a much more powerful battery and a large power inverter. And what that's gonna allow me to do is actually, if I want to, is boil a kettle. The main reason I got it was so that we can use my heated milk frother so we can have truly barista coffees while we're out there doing our astrophotography. So hopefully you'll come along and join us tonight and we'll have some fun. My name's Glenn and you're watching Astrobloke. I can't believe someone's given me stick over my uh, sign on the back of my van that someone nicked the A, so it's now a strobe bloke. That is a job that needs to be changed. Someone nicked your A. Someone nicked me A. Huh? That's not good, is that? No, I don't know who done that. <laughs> it wasn't me. No, all right then, that's fine. As long as it weren't you. Definitely not me. Here we are, we're at uh, This is called uh, well, Greyfriars, but it's Dunwich Monastery. It's an old derelict monastery. It's quite interesting. So we'll get the drone up, have a little look at it. And then uh, hopefully we'll get some clear skies and we'll be able to get some astro down there as well. This is actually a medieval uh, friary, that's what it says. It's a friary. A friary. All right. A friary. But there we go. It's not a friary. friary. <laughs> Come on, Spielberg. <laughs> I'm recording. Let's watch this. Look at that. Frothy milk, okay? Proper coffee. Look at that. Barista coffee in the Astro bus. I was going to do a love art, but I'm, it's a nebula. <laughs> it's a nebula. Hey, mate. That's, that's, that's yours, eh? Oh, that's mine. That's it. That's it. That's what that's do you nebula. think of that then? Proper barista coffee because we can. All the mod cons. All the this mod cons. This is what astrophotography is all about. It certainly is. Still on the uh, NGC 5033. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, it's a lovely galaxy. That galaxy that. So I've managed to get 31 hours on that now. That's brilliant. I'm really happy with it. And I've changed over now to the Heron galaxy. Was that that one you showed me, that little one? No, um, no, that's no, that's M100. M100 that's right. a wide field. That's I did that with my CT10. Right. Yep. No, this one is called the Heron Galaxy. Oh, I'm trying to think of the number. It's something like NGC 5346, something like that. So there's the framing. Very Sim similar to 
5033. Feels like quite well, doesn't it? Let me just see what it's called again. Um, NGC. Oh, 5394. 5394. I'm going to show you what so it looks like. That's you're going to want to do it. I will. <laughs> I'm always looking for new targets. You're going to go to me. Ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that as well, Glenn. Yeah. 5344. Four. So 94. 94. 5394. Yeah. Okay. That's one to look up then. Come on. Let's oh, see it. It's my, it's, my, it's my target. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's your target. <gasps> Whoa. Seriously? Oh, my word. Looks nice, doesn't it? That's fantastic. And it's a good framing. The SCT oh, like gets that. clean close enough, you see. And let me show <laughs> you. Let me show you um, something else that you didn't see. So, hang on. You say that's your target. Yeah, you're not allowed um, to image it. Are you going to give me permission to yeah, shoot no, it? No, you're not allowed oh, to image it. Oh, no, come no, on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please. I'm not. Yeah, of course you are. You Please. Are. Look, look, look at this. Look. That's now. Yep. That, that's its transit. It's wow. up all night. Look, all 75 night. degrees at the top. That's brilliant. Right. Interviewing Simon Wallace yeah. on location. <laughs> Don't eat you happy. <laughs> what do you want to know? What are you doing tonight? This is Grey Friars Friary and there's a lovely old dilapidated building back there. And um, it would be a fantastic foreground if only we had some clear skies. What we got? Uh, clad. <laughs> right, lovely. I'm looking forward so, to them breaking up. So am I. And uh, if, if it clears up, the plan is to shoot a star trail through the windows yes. of the Abbey, of the it's old exactly Abbey. exactly what I was and, thinking. Uh, that would be fantastic. But we need a bit of luck because I can see the moon and it's really, really hazy. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of cloud about. So um, while we wait, i going to drink some coffee. Good man. <laughs> So here we are at Dunnage Greyfriars, an old derelict monastery over there. Yeah. That's not too creepy, is it? There's a couple of stars, but not a lot yet. We're still waiting for the clouds to clear. We'll have a, we'll have a little stroll. Could be quite nice if we can get to Star Trail or time lapse with the stars around that arch. And there's the monastery in the distance. I don't know if you can see it yet. It's a little bit too far. You come in, Wallace. Come on in. Come on, Wallace. How much are you bringing? Oh, he's gone red. Look, he's all red lighted. I'm destroying astronomical darkness with my bright white light. See that? Hello. Hello. Che Hello. Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the problem. I bet you're glad you're not alone. <laughs> That's where I find out I am. You're actually just a ghost. Well, here it is. Look, look at that. I say it looked great with the uh, clouds. If you can get some stars behind it, be be fantastic. But it's not very starry. It's very cloudy. Right, we need to find out where north is, Simon, because I'd. Okay, so what I need to do now is plop my coffee down there, turn my phone on, and try and find north. Whoops, wrong button. It'll be down here. It's there and it's there. 
So north is that way, up that way, okay. All right then, so if we set up over there, we'll get a view. Simon, it's this side, mate. We've got to go over this way. North is behind us. So Simon's over there, we've put some really low lights on the monastery to try and light it up. And if I just uh, show you my camera a second, okay. so it's, uh, I've got it set at 3200. We've got some nice little lights on there. Mm. That's 3200, uh, f2.8, five seconds. So I'm happy with that. So I can now set that in motion to do a time lapse. So tell me when you're ready, Simon, we can start that started off. started already. You, you're, you're running your time lapse, yeah? I started it already. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's too dark for me. Yeah, it is. What's that over your shoulder? What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say things like that. I know, I know. I'm scaring myself. Mm. All right. You'd be the first one to leg it, you would. Yeah, I know. I'm fast and all. <laughs> <laughs> so Simon and I have just heard voices. We'd just better leave our cameras unattended. And we just heard a load of voices. But we think they're people walking along the footpath down by the sea. Gone, Glenn. You reckon? They've gone. All right. They're walking along the footpath further along. Fair enough. Yeah. Just so the thing is, voices clarry at night, don't they? So it might have been further do. away than we thought. So yeah. these are our lights. Simon put his facing against the wall there, and I've got one the other side that, well, it's down to 2%, so it's yeah. very dim. Yeah, I just don't, obviously, it's expensive equipment to leave unattended yeah. if there's yeah. people hanging around. I know. It's, uh, it's nice when you persevere and then the weather changes in your favour. But with this hobby, it's, uh, it's a battle, it's a <laughs> that's for sure. Miss, so uh, that could so, be quite a nice shot with the moon up there, you know, with that uh, archway, nice one, if you yeah. can catch it all together. That could be quite cool, that you got the moon up there, look. Could get another. You got another camera, camera haven't I've you? Got tripod, another camera. I've, I've got, got the Sony, I can use that. You know what, I've not used my Sony The yet. moon is amazing at the moment. I'll show you the picture yeah. I got last night and you tell me what you think. Yeah. <coughs> I think I'm going to get my Sony out. Try that. Yeah, good idea. I haven't used it yet. Change me, um, change the battery. You put your cup back. Sit that there. I don't think the chem is going to be doing much tonight because unfortunately... Nice little spot, isn't it? It's, yeah. But if Simon and I move down to the beach or the uh, car park we used to go to, I might get it set up. But uh, it's like everything. You think it's a great idea when you come out, but getting it all set up is so hard. You need a good bit of time and, you know, a good bit of patience. I'm lacking both. Um, but we're making our way back to the fryer. We, uh, we've just done some nice moon shots, or we tried to get some nice moon shots for an archway um, and we're taking our Sony AS7s to see if we can uh, get some nice pictures of the friary. Any second? There you go. Yeah, so what settings have you got that so on Simon on to get that? ISO 3200 and uh, that's Three seconds. Nice. Three seconds, I so. And you're what, 3.5? F3.5, um, is it? Or yeah, is this, this, yeah. Uh, no, this is, I'm on F4. F4. That's a nice. 2.8 lens, but I stopped it. Down to F4. to F4.
Yeah, we've had a, a really interesting night here and I, I would really like to come back here on a clear night and give it another go, definitely. The uh, camera was doing quite a nice job. I've only got 12 seconds of time lapse. Unfortunately, there's a lot of cloud about. Adds a little bit of interest, but also stops you a little bit from getting lots of deer honey on moons behind a big misty cloud now. But there you go. It's all been fun though, isn't it, Simon? It's been good right. actually, I quite That's like really it. Good. Yeah, we'll definitely, really enjoyed it. definitely come back here and give it another go, won't we? It'd be nice. Um, get a clear got night. Some, got some clear skies. I might yeah. have to bring a little rig here next time. Oh. Just the DSLR. Yeah, yeah, Set yeah. Up here. Definitely no pa no mad tracker, I reckon. Yeah. At least. Um, right, Simon. Thanks ever so much for a great night, mate. Yeah. And uh, yeah, up. we'll get ourselves home. So. Yeah, uh, I'm going to turn this it. round, say goodbye to everyone, thanks yeah. for coming out and uh, we'll go out again soon. Uh, very soon, That's Yeah. good, enjoy that. Nice drive home. Yeah, cheers All mate, right. catch you later. Yeah, see you soon mate, drive safe. <laughs>